Hey everybody, welcome to Ask Elk. You got questions, I got answers. Let's get into one. This question comes from a follower on Instagram. Frankie Simpen asks, how do we use refrigerant recovery equipment? All right, Frankie, great question. I love it. I'm probably not gonna get all the details you're gonna need in this video because of the length, but I'm gonna point you to some great resources. And we're gonna talk through a few things here that you really need to know about. Now, the process of refrigerant recovery is where we're removing refrigerant from a system and putting it in some sort of a vessel or a storage tank that is approved to store and hold that recovered refrigerant for repairs, decommissioning, other things like that. To do that, we're gonna need a recovery machine. We're gonna need a tank that has enough space to hold all the refrigerant that's in the equipment. We're gonna need some hoses. We're gonna need a filter dryer to protect the recovery machine from any debris or particulate matter that might come out of that equipment with the refrigerant. And we're gonna need a scale so that we can weigh that tank and understand how full it's getting. Because the tanks are allowed to be filled to 80% by volume and they're rated in water capacity. Now, liquid refrigerant and liquid water oftentimes have different densities, and sometimes those densities can vary wildly. So we don't want to just fill it to 80% of the water capacity because we may end up overfilling that tank, and that can be very dangerous for us if we're standing next to it or while we're transporting it. Now, in order to fill a tank properly, HRI publishes Guideline K. That's a free download, you can find it on the internet, just do an internet search for AHRI Guideline K, and that will walk you through all of the details of how to properly fill a recovery tank. In addition to that, TrueTech, in our free download section, we have a calculator sheet for a lot of the common refrigerants that's based on Guideline K, as well as refrigerant densities, and we publish that based on all the requirements of Guideline K. In addition, go to the TrueTech Tools YouTube channel, look for refrigerant recovery videos. There's a couple of them on there and they go into much greater detail about how to use recovery equipment and how to do recovery properly and quickly. That's all for this one. If you got questions, we got answers. Use the hashtag of Ask Elk or throw them in the comments. We'll get you answers.